Hello, welcome back to Mideast In-Depth, part of Levant TV's Press Reviews. Brahma Chilaini, Professor of Strategic Studies at the New Delhi-based Center for Policy Research, writes a piece in the Beirut-based Daily Star. As of his title, he believes the American shift to making peace in Afghanistan will fail. He says since toppling the Taliban regime in Afghanistan 14 years ago, he adds the United States has been waging a non-stop battle against its foot soldiers. Locked in a war that has already cost nearly one trillion US dollars, the US has now shifted its focus to making peace with the enemy and it will not work. Months after President Obama declared that America's combat role in Afghanistan was over, the US and its allies continue to carry out airstrikes on the Taliban positions regularly, while American special operation forces continue to raid suspected insurgent hideouts. In fact, he adds, beyond an increased role for Afghan forces in the fighting, the situation in the country has changed little since Operation Enduring Freedom was renamed to Operation Resolute Support. Obama's premature declaration will be remembered much like his predecessor, George W. Bush, in 2003 in his Mission Accomplished speech, which proclaimed the end of a major combat operations in Iraq long before they actually ended. The writer affirms, indeed, the overwhelming majority of casualties in Iraq were yet to occur. The writer reminds us that in October 2011, U.S. President Barack Obama announced that he was bringing the long war in Iraq to an end by withdrawing all U.S. troops. Yet last year, the U.S. was back at war in Iraq, and this time in an effort to reign in ISIS, with Obama relying on the same congressional authorization that Bush secured for military action there a decade before. The writer then concludes, America's success or failure in Afghanistan now hinges on a single limited issue, whether it can prevent the Taliban from marching into Kabul or not. And by highlighting its desperate search for an exit, the US has given the Taliban the upper hand, letting the militia's leaders know that they can simply wait it out. Brahma Chilaini adds America's faltering Afghan strategy should serve as a cautionary tale of how not to make peace with an enemy. He advises Obama to recognize that a political settlement with the Taliban is simply wishful thinking, and instead President Obama should focus on bolstering Afghanistan's security forces and identifying ways to eliminate the Taliban's militia sanctuaries in Pakistan. After all, terrorists are not in the business of making peace, and America should not think otherwise. Moving to Egypt, Nirvana Mahmoud writes an article on women's rights in Egypt, and it's featured in the Ahram newspaper. A call by Egyptian journalist Sharif Shubashi for veiled Muslim women to uh, take off their headscarves, which is known as the hijab, has stirred widespread controversy in Egypt. Shubashi has also proposed a take off the veil rally to, the hel- to be held at Cairo's Tahrir Square. And while some have welcomed Shubashi's proposal, others vehemently oppose the idea. A senior official at Al-Azhar, Egypt's highest Sunni Islamic institution, rejected the call, stressing that the head cover is a religious must for female Muslims once they reach puberty. Now, the debate about Islamic dress code for women is not new. On a personal level, Nirvana Mahmoud says, uh, for an Egyptian female, this issue has been a regular facet of my life since childhood. Family, friends, neighbors, and even complete strangers preached about the mandatory headscarf even before I reached puberty. Mahmoud concludes, with this said, it is also time for Egypt's Muslim clerics to stop treating the way a woman dresses as if it is the fulcrum of the faith. It is not. This misplaced priority is rather alarming. Moreover, Islam has always been a faith with diverse views and interpretations of a sacred text. The writer adds the current totalitarian approach to any religious controversy needs to stop. Diversity and tolerance are the two essential ingredients for healthy societies. In some, she ends, it is about time to respect the basic right of a woman to choose her own manner of uh, dress without angry bickering and petty debates. Women with or without headscarves should be accepted and respected in Egypt. That was it for today's brief analysis. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. You could also subscribe to Medici in Depth on iTunes. Thanks for watching and bye for now.